three times winners of the last four PSL championships face off at the Bitfest Stadium with both having suffered a testing first half of the after premiership season thus far as defending champions Bitfest Vets face the side they dethroned in Mamilodi Sundowns. But that's a very good evening it is to you all as we well look forward to yet another entertaining encounter this time under the after premiership banner. And that may be the big surprise in the tactics. We have seen from Mamelodi Sundowns is starting this match. Here's Langamai! Oh, that's great goalkeeping. Lovely handling then from Darren Keaton, holding on to it and it's stuck with it. At a time that maybe there was quite a maze of players in front of him. Now, Peter scored a goal from this situation. Now, let's see how the Sundowns will deal in winning that centre. Do you have big men? In the defense, my own was definitely one of them that sticks out. One the initial hitter, now it's in behind him, and here is Kamal Amin. The numbers behind the ball, and those numbers come into good effect in protecting Dennis Nyango then. He didn't provide any openings whatsoever for Goodness Vets. Now there's a lovely flick out on that far side, men moving in the central areas. Lovely goal, quality in the ball, and quality, quality in the save from Dennis. Save. What makes it more special the serve is that at some stage Morena seemed to have lost position of the ball and how he recovered and still afforded the shot and then the reaction from the goalkeeper does well here. Oh, just a little bit of a flick to set himself on the front foot and then the cross. As I think it was, you see, seemed to have lost the ball and suddenly on the turn, excellent work by the goalkeeper who stayed alert to the danger throughout the process. Now, hmm. there he goes. Gone. Now, Villa! Oh, it's come off the top of the bar after having a dash from Keats. Keats is having a performance of his life in this first half. It's that of a doubt. Glided by. He's a man in the land of Florida to Villa. Took it back to his best in these fitness best days. Takes him on this amazing run. Frosa would have expected to match him up. Gee, by the time Atlanti decided to close him down, Villa had decided he was going to pull the trigger, and it was a good one at that. Did he touch it? That's what I'm looking to see. I thought so initially. A good number of the men are yet to get onto the uh, score sheet. Remember, Kamala Mir scored the brace. Upon his debut in the absolute premiership, he's the leading goal scorer. Now, Keats off his line and Sanders comes so close to punishing him. It's who else back on board. He said it twice where he scored from the opposition over the field against the opponent. He tries it for a third time in his career. This is more deep range. Just that little glance to where. Darren Keith was, and uh, the decision was made in his mind that was going to go for him. And maybe this one a little bit too high. He didn't get the drive that uh, he would normally be able to get. It is the reason that they're able to maybe spring those counter attacks. Like now, what a cross! Billiards! Down with the assists! Billiards in off the bench to give Sanders the deserved lead with so little in final third. They've been kept out, they've found the penetration more than their opponents. They deserve the lead. Fantastic. What's that supposed to be? <laughs> so every day you see the players celebrate the goal by working on their abs. <laughs> working up the sundowns. Looking up beautifully for Sundowns. Here is Bellas in up the race. Bellas get the brace. The pass, a killer pass from Zumbo. The movement, penetrative from Bellas. The second half, explosive from Sundowns. That, took, that puts a big smile on that. That puts him a smile. You know what? They've suffered in the absence of Bellas with his injury not being there.
but no. I mean, ladies and gentlemen, two grabbing three points. And coach, your analysis on the match tonight? Yeah, a little bit of a, of a tight game in the first half. I was not happy with the, with the passing in the first half. We couldn't get our triangles right. You know, simple, we were losing balls, simple pass, simple passes, yeah? Because the spaces, the angles, you just have to touch the ball, just play simple, even in the second half a little bit. But we got a little bit chance in the second half because the, the, our subs, like against Orlando Pirates, they lifted the game. You know, Anton came to help us to score. Kama came to help us on the score. And, and obviously it's normal that Vitz wants to go to score. And uh, I've increased the speed up front because I know they'll go. So. But we could have passed much, much better, guys. We don't pass well. You know, but I, I, I know that Smoo could have, Villa could have scored two goals, Pets could have scored two, but it's okay because they create the chances. But I'm not happy with the passing on the team. We can do better with the passing. I hear what you're saying, not being too happy about the passing uh, within the team, especially in that first half. That said, though, you did create the better chances. Yeah, we create the chances because you have to move properly and, and create the angles. But my build-up was not one of the best. But what we did very well is to make sure that uh, KK must stay on Munare, not to turn and pass the ball forward because he's a good player. And also Donald Kola left enough time on the ball. And that helped us a little bit. You know? And also, you know, we were fortunate because, you know, Vez, the strength is, is slanted to bring balls, daintily to bring the balls. So we made sure that we don't really, really allow the balls in the box and when they put James Keane and they've got Gamal you know what's going to happen you saw the last 10 minutes they were a little bit troublesome because that's their strength to put the balls in the box and to, to go for a header but Bangali played a brilliant game uh, unbelievable game that Bangali had thank you coach well done tonight thank you Win number five for Mamelodi Sundowns after eight games played. Still kept playing catch up, but they have moved up the EBSA Premiership table. Let's hear now from Coach Gavin Hunt. Coach, your thoughts on the match tonight? Your Sorry. thoughts on the match tonight? Yeah, I look disappointed. Obviously, you know, I mean, I don't think it was, you know, the scoreline. You know, we certainly had a great, we had the best chance at Dane in the first half there. I thought it was a great chance, but, you know, we made a, the same player made two. Huge errors, and uh, it's crazy, you know. You know, it's one of those things. But as I said, we make shift, struggling with numbers. You know, obviously we don't have legs. So, you know, but then you get the first goal goes in, and then we try and chase the game. We had great opportunities again. Um, but you've got to give them credit. They got the quality in the final third, and they hang up there, and they just play off the break. And, you know, they caught us. I mean, they played long ball the whole night, you know, and I thought we dealt with it. Um, so, but, you, you know, at the end of the day, it's just not good enough. You, got, you can't make mistakes like that. Just to follow up on your question about not having the legs, uh, we talk about injuries all the time, it seems, and now there's another one. Yeah, can you give us an update on, on Can you give us an update on Palembe, please? That's what I'm asking. He's broken his arm. His arm's broken, I think. So we'll get a, um, you know, there'll be another one out. So we're really, you know, down to whatever we're down to. But it's, it's, that's, not the, that's not the point. You still make unbelievable errors. You know, the same player. I mean, it's crazy the error they made. Anyway, got to give them credit. Sundowns. And at the same time, the way you started as well, particularly maybe even more disappointing because you did have them pinned back. They didn't really yeah, have chances. No, that's, that's, you know, you've got to score. You know, you've got to score when you get the chances. Kamal had two good chances in the first half. You know, I think he had another two, three in the second half. Great chances. You know, James should have scored there as well. You know, you don't score. And, and obviously, as I said, they've got far more quality up, up the front. Who, who, you know, and they played just a big long ball over the back of us the whole night. And caught us, you know, I certainly we dealt with it when we had to, but to give away a goal right in the corner there, where we, you're playing the ball, we just got to play the ball down the line, and you play the inside straight to Percy Tower, and you know, the rest is history. I mean, the second goal, we had good possession of the ball, lost it on the halfway line. So you can go on and on and on, but you can't be making errors like that, and, but uh, that's football for you.